Bombshell report out tonight alleging the FBI was involved in a giant cover-up to protect the Biden family and sway the 2020 election and possibly 2022. Highly credible whistleblowers are coming forward and reporting that the FBI intentionally downplayed damning evidence about Hunter Biden's corrupt business deals. And they hatched a plot to discredit Hunter's laptop as, quote, disinformation. We're learning federal agents were allegedly told to stop any damaging investigations into Hunter Biden. No questions asked, even though there was alleged proof of Hunter's potential criminal activity. Orders to black out the story were reportedly put forward by FBI analyst Brian Outen. Funny thing about him is he's the same FBI official who pushed the Trump-Russia collusion hooks. He took the bait on the Steele dossier and used it to illegally investigate Trump campaign officials like Mike Flynn and Carter Page. And now he has his fingerprints all over another FBI plot to meddle with our elections. This is all coming just as federal prosecutors in Delaware have reportedly reached a, quote, critical stage in charging the son of the president for tax fraud, foreign lobbying violations, and lying on a firearms application. But primetime sources tell us that these are very narrow charges. And the bigger international pay-to-play scheme involving China and the big guy is not being seriously scrutinized. And Delaware prosecutors may be getting pushback from the Department of Justice to wait on charging Hunter Biden so it doesn't cost the Democrats in the midterms. The FBI whistleblowers, as mentioned towards the top of the show, came forward to Senator Chuck Grassley, and he joins us now to talk about it. All right, Senator, what else can you share with our audience tonight? Well, you've covered the top uh, line of it. A little bit more detail is that they, uh, they had people making decisions on what should be investigated or start to investigate or not investigate and what uh, to sh shut down an investigation had political bias in it. It's as simple as uh, s uh, opening a case against uh, Trump that was based on fuzzy liberal newspaper reports. It was a good reason to advance the the investigation. But when it come to Hunter Biden, with plenty of concrete information, it was shut down. It's pretty simple. And uh, we have evidence that some of these people have exhibited this political bias over a long period of time, because there's a guy by the name of Tebow that the whistleblowers told me about. I took it directly to uh, Ray. Uh, I guess he had done this be when we issued a press release on it, but I talked to him about it uh, to thank him, because he moved that guy out of the decision-making of which uh, investigation should go ahead and which one should be stopped. But that gives you an example of, uh, of political bias, and it hurts uh, uh, the integrity of the FBI. The people of the United States ought to have uh, really uh, good feelings about the FBI. They ought to uh, know that they're a credible organization, and there should be no party or power involved in this decision-making. It should be simply fair, follow the facts where it takes them, and there should be no political. It's unfair, and the FBI have not met the test of fairness in this particular case. Can you give me one word answer here? Do you trust FBI Director Ray's ability to handle this case with Hunter Biden? I would think that he would be in a position to do it. And when he moved Tebow, the, that's the guy's name I was talking about, they moved him out of that decision-making role to something else. It shows me that he can take action. But I wonder if the whole situation isn't so bad. There's a lot of it going on that even Ray doesn't know about. That's a sad commentary. That's why you got to rely on whistleblowers that know down at the grassroots that something's wrong. Listen to the whistleblowers. All right. Well, we'll see if the media listens to the whistleblowers as closely as they listen to the whistleblowers against Trump. Thank you very much, Senator. We'll uh, stay apprised of this investigation. Thank you. Have you heard the facteur? No, the news of the facteur.